Hi, I've built a portable 8-bit minimalistic live looping machine, especially designed for live chiptune playing and uh, improvisation. It's called the Bitbuff, and what you see here is an early prototype, but it's already quite functional and I wanted to show you what it's capable of as of now. It hooks into a regular off-the-shelf MIDI keyboard, and in its simplest mode of operation you just play on the keyboard. And there are different waveforms you can select. And then you can also change the release rate. Pitch bend. And there is also an arpeggio mode. Meanwhile, there has been a loop playing over and over again, and uh, the only thing is that we haven't been able to hear it because it's blank. But we can add notes to the loop, and the loop can be visualized as a grid of 16 rows and 8 parallel tracks. If we add some notes to a track, Each track has a corresponding button and indicator light, and we can mute and unmute the track. The tracks are grouped into pairs. There are two drum tracks, two ostinato tracks, two bass tracks, and two chord tracks. In the drum tracks, each key on the keyboard corresponds to a particular drum. We already know how the ostinato tracks work. We simply record a melody and it can be played back again. Arpeggio mode works a little bit different here. There's also a sidechain feature where you can lower the volume of this track every time a bass drum or snare drum is played. The bass tracks are similar to the ostinato tracks with the additional feature that they are transposable. You enter the bass part in the key of C and then you can transpose by playing notes on the keyboard. you can actually input an entire chord, not just a bass note. So I'll put it in C major. And the chord is controlling the two final tracks, the chord tracks, in which the keys once again have special functions. So this is the top note of the current chord, and so on. But there's also this key, which plays an arpeggio. And there are some keys for moving stepwise through the chord. There is also a chip style echo effect. And 
and now we can change the chord dynamically. And that's all very nice, but we want to be able to use the keyboard to play a melody. So it's also possible to map chords onto these eight macro buttons here. possible to adjust various aspects of the loop playback, such as tempo, groove and pattern length. There are also a couple of special effects, such as glitches, that can be used as fill-ins. The first four chord macros can be joined together into a cycle. And you can specify that you want an automatic glitch based fill in at the end of the cycle. That was an overview of the various features of the BitBuff and now I'd like to show you how it all fits together. So this is going to be an improvisation and I have a general plan of how to approach it but I don't know what's going to happen.